talking about getting work done over the weekend there was a pretty interesting debate that i saw on social media regarding the one and only kylie jenner and regarding her impressive appearance at paris fashion week because it feels like we're watching this in real time she's slowly but surely changing her aesthetic and the things that she's kind of aligning herself next to some people would say she's kind of you know reverting back to her caucasian factory settings but i think most likely it's just a shift right if you kind of have to keep reinventing yourself when you're a public personality that she is especially if you're an influencer especially if you're a beauty influencer fashion influencer you just have to constantly keep um reinventing yourself and this is just one part of the reinvention you know she's got the new boyfriend um she's got this new look so fair play to her but it really did make me wonder and question or it maybe it reminded me of this question i always used to pose whenever i'd go to clubs i'd go to clubs and i'd be out yeah having a good time usually on my own and trying to make friends being the loser that i am and i'd be going in a smoking area pretending to smoke flipping menthol cigarettes and i'd kind of strike up conversations with random groups of girls and random groups of guys but mostly it'd be with the girls i'll be like hey i'll throw out a little conversation start and i'd be like oh do you think if you had all the money in the world and all the time in the world that you could look as hot as Rihanna and that'll be my usual kind of way to go around it um in that kind of question to kind of you know be a bit of a conversation start uh, start up a bit of debate get people laughing and just kind of break the ice a little bit over time I stopped doing it because I felt like it sometimes would come uh, unintentionally or come across a bit mean and also you know just leave people alone it's just not you know some people are just out there trying to get a braver trying to fucking roll up trying to make sure they, they you know they haven't lost their pills and some of their gear and here i am guys what do you think about men and women you know what i mean it's just like it's annoying so i get it so over time i just stopped asking that question but it was really interesting and really instructive or illuminating because it did really to me show the differences between men and women i feel like by and large women do have a little bit more of a um a little bit more of a tendency to be delusional and i feel like it's a good thing right i think women it tends to be delusional it's kind of self-protective in some way shape or form but it you would never get a better example of a woman's delusion if you just ask them that question do you think you could be as attractive as the hottest woman in the world with just money and time and most women would say yes they just think all it takes is money to get the you know the the job the work done that you need to get done in your body um the money needed to pay a trainer and the time it needs to get fit and work out and lose the weight and stuff and obviously not having a full-time job and be able to commit your entire life to just like get looking amazing most women legitimately think that they can do it which is it to me insane but you know what everyone's got their things but one thing that really struck me when i was thinking about it was when i saw this picture this video of kylie jenner um, enjoying herself and having a gay old time over there in Paris I thought to myself like do women really think that all it takes is money and time to look like this like do they honestly think all it fucking takes is money and time because I don't think so because I think over the years we've seen Kylie be mocked online for having a like someone says here in the comments an old face but I think we are finally starting to see her face maybe settle in, if that's a thing. I'm not sure if it is a thing in plastic surgery. Maybe it isn't. I'm not too sure. I'm not too plugged into the cosmetic surgery world. But I feel like her face is starting to match her body and her look overall way more than it did before. And that isn't, I don't think, by accident. Definitely something has happened intentionally behind the scenes that's allowed her to be a little bit more to look a little bit more congruent in how she appears and whatnot so clearly there is a constant everyday dedication to ensuring that she looks the best that she can look and i don't think that is just a money and time thing i think it's a i think it's a personality thing i think it's a um, determination thing willpower thing whatever it may be it's not just money and time because i think for any of us who's tried to do the whole social media influencer thing online for any of us that has friends who always takes pictures of meals when you're out or to wants to have their picture taken when they're on the train when they're sitting down when they're walking you know how annoying it can be to be that friend yourself and to also have friends like that so just imagine trying to make that your job trying to make your job to look good online and offline 24 7 a day 24 7 uh, um you know 24 7 365 days it's not easy so i think people really um and people kind of um what do you think called people downplay how difficult it is to actually be these people full time it's not as easy as they think and i also think there's just a matter of you know good genetics as a base and then the ability to also stop because there could have been a easy many times in Kylie's journey and maybe people say even now that she could have probably gone a bit overboard and done a bit too much but I feel like over time somebody has definitely pushed the let's just relax button 
let's not go too far because now you're finally starting to see her look I think her best overall um outside of maybe some of her like streetwear type of era i think she definitely looks the best she's ever looked now and i think as well that's just a talent in itself to kind of be like even though i've got all the money in the world all the access to all the best people in the world i'm gonna stop and not do too much because i can get a bit crazy um and it's just insane to see and to hear people legitimately say they can do the same thing with money and time because it's just assuming that it's kind of in in a way it's sort of like um an arrogance to it because it basically assumes that we're all born on the same level of attractiveness and no matter what how ugly you look you can make yourself look like a quote-unquote you know conventional 10 if you just have the money and the time which is nuts because if that's the case then why are 10s born you know <laughs> what's the point of having a 10 if you can just make yourself into a 10 10 should not exist it shouldn't be a thing anymore but whatever it is what it is but one of the best things i did like about it was this um crazy meme to come out of it which i'm sure will be all over the place soon but it's just hilarious to hear her her voice you know <laughs> like this to be said i love this okay let's go family it's showtime it's fucking showtime <laughs> Personally, I just love it. I think it's fucking impressive. I love the delusion that most women have regarding their looks and how they can improve it over time because the fact that there aren't many Kylie Jenners around kind of speaks to how hard it is to look that way. Um, but I do like the idea that everybody legitimately does believe that if they just had enough money and time um, to, you know, to do all the things that these guys do, that they could look as good as these guys look, which is, you know, is maybe more of a reflection on the current state of cosmetic surgery that is at a level now where legitimately everyone believes they're not ugly, they're just broke, which is a nice thing to come yourself with but the reality of it is most of us are just ugly it's okay to be you know ugly and to just make the use of that and make the best of it but i also think that maybe partly explains why i've always thought men's beauty could never be a thing because i think you know fundamentally especially straight men they don't necessarily care about being beautiful they just want to look the best that they can look so take a straight guy that's maybe ugly he might just want to be in the best shape he can possibly look he might do the whole looks maxing thing which is basically just trying to make the best that you can with what you have available losing weight sorting out your teeth sorting out your personal style your hairstyle your personal hygiene and just trying to push your base to the top as you can and without doing cosmetic surgery and that's what most men are really comfortable with doing which is obviously not what beauty is nowadays beauty is everything cosmetic surgery makeup the whole shebang but rarely if ever does beauty really enlist or encourage women to kind of go out and run 5ks every day and whatever you know what i mean it's mostly just about you know getting work done covering up whatever things that you you know you don't like about yourself and accentuating the things that you do like about yourself with little tricks and whatever it may be and little tools that's why i thought you know men's beauty could never really take off too far that way because men just want a base level that they can work with and then the rest they can kind of you know um fill in the gaps with money clout fame you know all this sort of stuff prestige power bloody blah, blah 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 so maybe that's where it sort of gets a bit different